and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Come on. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image. And cause as many as would not worship the image. The image of the beast Come on. should be killed. Should be killed. Yeah. Just the way they did to our forefathers right here. Right. Historical facts are right here. Right. Right. Come Listen, on. you going into slavery for all the atrocities you've done to our people. Yeah. You going into slavery. Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Hispanics, us only. He didn't come for white people. He didn't come for Arabs. He did not come for Africans. He did not come for uh, 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 Chinese. And Chinese. He came for you so-called blacks and Hispanics right here. Right right. He came for y'all. Come on. The Aborigines in Australia? Yeah. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. Bring it out! Oh, oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 4, and verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. Stop. What does it mean to scatter? Put you all over the place. This verse. God, this verse is from the, the land of Israel that's in what they call the so-called Middle East. In, in Africa, God took us all from that land and we got dispersed over the whole globe. Right. You understand? Some of us are in Asia. Some of us are in Southeast Asia. Right. Right. Some of us are in Indonesia. Right. Some of us are in right. Phil uh, the Philippines. Right. Some of us right. are in uh, uh, India. Right. Some of us are in Zimbabwe. Right. Some of us are, guess what? Guess where? New Guinea. Guess where? Facts. What's that? Madagascar. Right. South Africa. Right. Australia. Right. Read that again. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations. Among the nations. Among the so nations. there's a remnant of you so-called blacks and Hispanics among all nations. That's why there's such a term as Afro-Iranian, Afro-Japanese, Afro-Chinese. Because God scattered us. Come on. And you shall be left few in number. And you shall be left few in number. That's why there's a remnant among other nations. Come on. And you shall be left few in number among the heathen. Come on. Whether the Lord shall lead you. Because God sent us there to serve our sentence. This was our punishment for what? Not keeping the commandments. Right. Right. Teach. Come on. And then you shall serve God's the work of men's hands. That's why some of us learn Islam. That's why some of us learn modern Christianity. Right. You start serving white Jesus. Right. Why? Right. The Bible said you would be doing that in the last days. Come on. The work of men's hands. The works of men's hands. White Jesus is the works of men's hands. Right. That Jesus peace, right. the rosary, the cross right. is the works of men's hands. That's what you pray to. That's what you kiss. That's what you wear for protection. Right. Where are we coming from? The Bible. That's Come on. Right. Wood and stone. Wood and stone. What is over there in uh, uh, um, Mecca? In Mecca. The Kaaba stone. Right. A media. A media that fell from the sky. Men and women walking around the stone, kissing the stone, worshiping the stone. Right. What does the Bible say about that? Wood and stone. Wood and stone. What is the wood talking about? The wooden cross that Christ was crucified on right. and that you wear on your neck right now. Right. You wear the symbol of our Lord's, his Lord and Savior, death around your neck. Right. Would you wear a family member's grave around your neck? Nope. Why are we doing this in the last days? Right. Get our, let's get our minds right. Come on. Which neither see. Nor hear, nor eat. White man, Jesus can't see or eat or hear or eat. It's a false god. It's an idol. It's an idol. You only worship an image. It's a image. It is a image. Come on. Which neither see nor hear. He can't see or hear. Come on. Nor eat nor smell. But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. Now. 
coming to the truth and hearing the truth. We got to seek the Lord our God. Who is the Lord our God? The black Messiah, That's Jesus on. Christ That's of the nation of Israel. That's the true Lord and Savior. Come on. But if this, thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If you seek him, you shall find him. How you gonna seek him? When you find your teachers. You know who your teachers? The prophets right here, right now. Yes, you shall find him. Now you find it out that Jesus the Christ is a black man. Jesus the Christ was never white. It was never a white man. Come on. And thou shalt seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Listen, you going into slavery. For all the atrocities you've done to our people. Thank you! Going into slavery. Come on. When thou art in tribulation, and all these things are come upon thee, even in the latter days, if thou turn to the Lord thy God. Come on, come on. Bring it out, read it again. But if then thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou shalt seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. I say, um, 34, 16. So how are we going to seek the Lord thy God? Brother right here, my brother from Mali. My brother from Mali, yeah, how are you going to seek the Lord thy God? How are you going to seek the Lord thy God? Before, before you ask the question, how are you going to seek the Lord thy God? You pray to God, the God Lord. How are you going to seek the Lord thy God? Read, the, read that verse that we just read. And do it around him. Because the scripture said we have to seek the Lord thy God. How are you going to seek him? Read that again. But if that's, thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou seek him with all thy heart and with all thy soul. If you, it says, if you seek the Lord thy God, you shall find him. How are you going to find him? How are you going to find the Lord thy God? In which way do you have to seek him out? By submitting to God. Read this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Listen. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So in order for you to seek out the Lord thy God, you have to read the Bible and study. You have to know yourself. In order for you to know yourself, you have to be reading the book of the Lord. Yes. That's, that's the only uh, way you're going to find the Lord. Right. Lord. You have to read the Bible. Read it again. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. None of the prophecies of the Bible shall fail. Right. When it said we was going to go into slavery, what happened? We went into slavery. Yes. When it said we were going to be scattered in every nation on earth, we were scattered yes. in every nation yes. on earth. Right. 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 None shall want her mate. For my mouth it has commanded, and his spirit it has gathered them. Meaning no other book can mate with the Bible. When you have other books like the Quran, the Gilgamesh epics, the book, the Egyptian book of the dead, none of these books match up with the Bible. None of these books are prophecies that come out the Bible that telling our people the solution to their problems in the South Bronx. Right? Read it from the top. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. None of these shall fail. So you have to seek the Lord out of his book. Right. And when you seek him, you have to apply the things that you learn in here. No, you have to right. apply it. Because it's one thing to read it. There's brothers that came here every week. I read the Bible. I've been studying since I was a kid. But they have yet to apply what they have learned. Right. Right. Now, give me um, Numbers 1538. Bring it out. Bring it out. Understand. It's not hard to keep God's law. Right. It's not hard to apply it. Right. Our people are just very rebellious. Right. The reason why there's Mexican kids locked up in cages. Right. The reason why Donald Trump can open his mouth and say, I'm going to help the black community. Right. But nothing has been done. Bring it out. Who's in office? Bring it's because I refuse to seek the Lord thy God. Right. Read the book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and evict them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. So it says, speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. This is fringes right here. It's not hard to get fringes. That's right. Right. A little law like fringes our people cannot keep. Right. They rather choose to suffer. Right. right? Read. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. Throughout their generation. What that mean? Throughout their generation. Huh? You gotta speak up. So throughout that, their, their, their children, their children have children, they have to continue to keep these customs because this is the heritage that God gave them. The children of Israel on this side. We left from keeping things like fringes. That's why we're in the condition we're in. Because the fringes was made for a reason, brother. We're going to learn. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it and remember all... And what? 
and remember. To remember what? All the commandments of the Lord. So the fringe was made so that we can remember the laws of God. Yes, Our people Lord. nowadays, we've completely forgotten who God is. And, we, and, we, and what we are as a people. Jeez. And what we are to do as a people. That's right. Let's go to First John 2 and 3. Because nowadays, we ask our people in the South Bronx, do you know God? They say, yes. Yes. God is in my heart. Right. I believe in God. The brother, our brother Dominic stood here. He said, the brother said as long as he accepts Christ in his heart, then Jesus is going to accept him. Yeah. It don't work that way. Right. What happened? So who is Jesus to us? Like, do you preach him like the so-called Christian? Like, you preach him? Like, what do you mean, who is Jesus to us? Like, Jesus. Like, like, more of Christian. In the church. They be like, they worship Jesus. Amen. They're not worshiping Jesus. They're worshiping this guy right here. That's not Jesus. That's, this is who they're worshiping right here. But they said they said they said they worship Jesus, right? Okay. So who is Jesus to us? To, to us. Like, we're gonna show it to you. First like, we're gonna show you what they what how, they tell you to worship. How, how do we like possible like Jesus as God? So how do we what? As God or as like a friend or as like God? Jesus Christ. Listen, the Bible calls Jesus let me, Christ. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. As God or as a friend or as a prophet. You tell me. You ready? One of these, yeah. You ready? Yeah. Jesus Christ, remember, we call Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior, right? Right. Right? What does Lord mean? Bring it up. I don't know. Lord meaning he's your God. You understand? The Bible, give me Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 9 and 6 real quick. Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior, goes by many different titles. You understand? We're going to get some of them for you. This is how, to bring into perspective, how you want to view Jesus the Christ. Go ahead. Okay, we're going to show you. We're going to show you. We're going to show you. There's two people you pray to. Jesus the Christ and the Heavenly Father. You understand? Now, you ask the question about Jesus Christ. How do we look at him? Do we look at him as a companion, as a friend, or as a God? We're going to get the answer. Come on. The book of Isaiah, chapter 9 and verse 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. The son is talking about Jesus the Christ. Come on. And the government shall be upon his shoulders. Come on. And his name shall be called. And his name shall be called. Shall be called Wonderful. Wonderful. Counselor. The Mighty God. The Mighty God. What is that? God Almighty. That's right. That That's is a right. name for Jesus, God Almighty. That's right. Why? Because you have God the Father, then He's God the Son. That's you understand? Come on. The Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. Oh, the Everlasting Father. We call the Most High Heavenly Father. Guess what? His Son is also called Heavenly Father. That's you understand? Right. Come on. The Prince of Peace, of the increase of His government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David. Okay, now give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11 real quick. Bring it out! Bring it out! And I still want you to hold the revelation. Don't lose it. You just lost it. Go to 1 Corinthians first, 11. We have to get the understanding that even though Christ is called Heavenly Father and God Almighty, Him and God, the Supreme Being, His Father, they're not the same thing. They're two different entities. Come on. Watch this. We're going to prove it. Come on. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of every man near you is Christ. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of the woman is the man. Come on. And the head of Christ. Stop. Read it again. But I would have you know. No, the head of Christ. But the head of Christ. The head of Jesus the Christ. The head of God the Son. The head of God the Almighty. Come on. And the head of Christ is God. The head of Christ is God. So that's what you know, there's, they're two separate entities. Okay? Even though Christ is being called these different titles, God and Heavenly Father and all that, there's someone above him, which is God the Father. That's right. You have God the Father, or you have God the Son. You understand? A lot of titles that we address to the Most High can be addressed also to Christ. But it doesn't make them the same entity. They're two different entities. They're two different beings. You understand? It's not the same person. Give me revelation now about the image of the, of the beast. Where did this come from? Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 14. 
and deceiveth them that grow on the earth by the means of those miracles. Stick around, we got it. Which, read it again. And deceiveth them that grow on the earth and deceive them. What does deceive mean? To lie to, to trick, to misguide. And what? Deceive what? And deceive it them that dwell on the earth. Meaning the people that will live on the earth right now will be deceived, will be lied to. How are they lied to? Come on. By the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Wait, who had power to do miracles in the sight of the beast? This is talking about the white man. That's We're going right. to show you how. Come on. Saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image. That they should make an image. What image is this talking about? The 1400s, the Renaissance era, the image of the beast, Caesar Borgia, the son of Pope Alexander, the sixth of Rome, his son, Caesar Borgia, they took him, Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci took his image and gave him the life of Christ and said he is going to take on the life of Christ and pose as Christ, the image of the beast, this is the image, come on, that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by his sword and did live. Come on. And he had power. That's talking about the Roman Empire leading up to the United States because the United States of them is an extension of Rome. That's right. Come on. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Now he said he had power to what? To give life unto the image of the beast. How did they have power to give life to this image? How? Through their media. Bring it out. Beast. Right. Passion of the Christ. Who was the actor for Passion of the Christ? In the Mel movies, Gibson. Weeping and crying. Mel Gibson. Mel Gibson, right? That's what he's talking about. Read it again. And he has power to give life unto the image of the beast. They give life to the beast, the image of the beast through movies, media, television. Come on. That the image of the beast should both speak. Because it spoke in the movie. It had y'all crying. Come on. Both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right. Now, there was a time in history where our forefathers refused modern Christianity. Right. And you know how we got indoctrinated and taught modern day Christianity? It was forced upon us. This image that I'm pointing to right now, pay attention. This is a uh, Jesuit priest. During the 1400s, they came to the Western Hemisphere, to the Americas. And who is this? King Atahualpa, a native Indian. They were forcing, what is that? What is that right there? A cross. What does the cross represent? Christianity. They were forcing Christianity on the native Indians. And they were burning their feet if they, if they didn't accept it. Right here. Christopher Columbus and the Conquistadors. What is this man doing? He's taking a baby and he's smashing a baby against a wall. What are they doing to these people over here? Your forefathers, the so-called Hispanics, they were burning their feet and they, and they hanged them. Why? To force them and indoctrinate Christianity. Read that scripture again. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Come on. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image. And cause as many as would not worship the image. The image of the beast Come on. should be killed. Should be killed. Yeah. Just the way they did to our forefathers right here. Right. Right. Historical facts are right here. Right. Come on. And he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right, right, right hand or in their foreheads. So that's where the image comes from. That's where this image comes from. That is what right. the purpose, the Bible prophesied in Revelation that the whole earth would be deceived. Right. You think of Christ right now, a white image will come in your head. How did they achieve that? Through their media, television, through their indoctrination. They forced their forefathers to believe in a lie. That's why anytime you think of Christ, you imagine a white face. That's why. That's where that comes from. Come back. Just like the officer said, and why do we have those Im Every time we think about Christ, we get those images. Go to Job on 924. I'm going to tell you why. Because the white man did these things. During the time of the Renaissance, he did something called iconoclasm, right. where he repainted the original images of the Jews, Christ and the prophets, and repainted it to his likeness. Right. Read. 
The book of Job, chapter 9, and verse 24. Bring it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Bible says the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. The Bible says there's a man who rules the earth. He's classified as the wicked. Right. What nation today is ruling the earth? Bring it out. America. Who's ruled by what race of people? What you said? The Europeans. The so-called white men. Read. The earth is given into the head of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. It says he covereth the face of the judges thereof. That's talking about he would change the images. That's, That's right. Bible prophecy. Right. What's that, 1 Maccabees? What, 348? That's talking about he would change the faces of, look, Jesus, of, Yes, sir. The Bible's letting us know the wicked is the so-called white man. Right. It's a wicked thing for a man to change the image of Christ into dirt, which is swine, right. ungodly, right. dirt, food. Right. This is a lie. That's a right. wicked man did that according to the Bible. Bring it out. Read. First Maccabees chapter 3 and verse 48. And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. The Bible said they would lay open the book of the law. And the heathen, the Greeks at that time, they decided to paint the likeness of their images. That's why when you go on Google, you type in King Solomon. What do you see? A white man. Right. You type in Job. What do you see? A white man. Right. You type in Isaiah, Jeremiah. You see white men. But it was not so according to the Bible. That's Get right. that in the Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Bring it it was not so. This is what the Bible described that King Solomon would look like. Right. The Bible never described the Jews, the prophets, Christ, as white men. It said the wicked would do that. Right. Who's that wicked? The white man. That's right. The so-called white man. Right. Yes, sir. Got it? Read. Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Read it out. I am black, but come. Wait, hold on. Where we at again? The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. This is the Song of Solomon. The book of King Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. This is how he would describe himself. I am black, but comely. What did King Solomon say? I am black, but comely. King Solomon said he was black, but comely. Meaning black and beautiful. Who's King Solomon? Did you know that King Solomon is one of Christ's forefathers? Did you know that King Solomon was one of Christ's forefathers? He said what? I am black, but comely. Where you get a white man from that? Where? You do not get white men from that from right. that scripture right there. Right. Give me another one. Give me Job, since we mentioned Job. All over the Bible, you will find scriptures pertaining to the people of being black skin or being of color. It's nowadays everybody's lost. That's they don't right. know what's going on. Right. They they type in on Google, who's King Solomon? They see a white man. Oops, okay, that's all I need. All they need is Google. Nowadays our people don't rely on the scriptures. Right. But us the prophets, we here to bring the truth. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.